Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel, Jam Vibes. Apparently, there is some mystery over the Senzo Meiwa case already, and this time around, Kelly Kumalo is being exposed one more time for doing something very fishy few minutes before Senzo Meiwa was shot already. And the state claims the intruder saw her moving about the house before these bad people entered. Before I give you all the entire details, kindly subscribe to this channel, please like this video, drop a comment, and hit on to my post notification bell. In a significant development in the ongoing Senzo Meiwa murder trial in court, a fresh witness who was present at the scene when everything actually occurred has decided to give his testimony some few days ago. This new testimony offered a first-hand account of everything that actually transpired that led to the tragic shooting of former Bufana Bufana and Orlando Pirates captain Senzo Meiwa. State prosecutor advocate George Baloyi began by actually delving into the whereabouts of Kelly Kumalo, a key South African musician and figure in this particular case at hand, before the intruders entered the house on the fateful night when Senzo's life was claimed. Kelly Kumalo, who happens to be a well-known South African singer, vocalist, and the former girlfriend of the late Senzo Meiwa, has been centered around everything that has been ongoing already, as many people actually point fingers at her saying she is hiding the truth of what happened. Advocate Baloyi inquiry centered on Kelly's position at the time. The question posed was straightforward. In Baloyi's words, he said, and I quote, at that time, where was Kelly seated? The witness, identified as Madlala, responded by stating, and I quote, She was going up and down. There was a moment when she was standing, and there were other occasions when she sat next to Senzo. This testimony shed so much light already and insight on Kelly Kumalu's actions and movements within the house during the critical moment leading up to the intrusion. The witness's account provides crucial insight into her state of mind and her interactions with Senzo Meiwa before the tragic incident unfolded and South Africans are so wanting Kelly Kumalo to come take the stand already as a witness in order to give in every single detail that she knows. Remember that there is a certain docket that actually implicates all those who are in the house and takes them as suspects automatically. So, South Africans want that this docket actually be opened so heartbreakingly. Most importantly, the fact that they just want that all those people in the house should just get arrested since it's been over eight years already and they have deliberately refused to tell the South African population who pulled the trigger on Senzo Meiwa allegedly as they fully well believe that all these people who were in the house witnessed the scene and know who actually committed such an act. Another key detail revealed by Tumelo pertains to Kelly Kumalo's reaction when the intruders entered the house. According to Tumelo's testimony, Kelly Kumalo was the first person to flee the scene as soon as the intruders entered, unlike other people who were referring to Longwet Swala to be the first person who pushed the intruder who was fully armed with a gun and ran out of the, of the Kumalo's home state. But this time around, it is the opposite. Kelly Kumalo allegedly left the, the, the vicinity first. Describing the sequence of events, Tumelo stated that Kelly Kumalo swiftly sought refuge in one of the bedrooms once she realized the gravity of the situation. At that point, everybody went and crowded around the guy who was wearing the dreadlocks, Tumelo detailed. The witness's account provides a vivid portrayal of the chaotic scene that unfolded as the intruders entered the residence. Kelly Kumalo's immediate reaction to the threat underscores the tense and distressing atmosphere within the house during those critical moments. As the trial most importantly continues, the new witness's testimony adds layers of detail to the complex narrative surrounding Senzo Meiwa's tragic departure from this world. The insights provided by this witness, particularly concerning Kelly Kumalo's actions, will undoubtedly contribute to the broader understanding of the events that transpired that fateful night. Without necessarily judging, I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think, feel, and of course believe about all of what is definitely being attributed to Kelly Kumalo in Senzo Meiwa's departure from this world. I love you all from the bottom of my heart.